Hey everybody, we are at Social Island 8 and today we are learning how to use our camera controls. Now, as you can see, my my mouse is being captured. I did this on purpose and I'm using the standard Second Life viewer on purpose because truly, um, for those of you who are new, this is going to be something that you are going to be using. Now, if you notice, my, my camera controls, when I click on something and when I'm near something, it gives little hints. As you can see, like Cam Tower Floor. That lovely Cam Tower Floor uh, pop-up is standard every time I'm doing filming. Now, if you don't want it, you don't have to see it. It's really easy. There's a cute trick called Control-Alt-F1. And then all of a sudden, everything is gone except for the mouse. Now, keep in mind, that's going to limit you because all of your menus are gone. So, but if you ever want to do a video, come in handy. Now, basic controls. Let's bring out the camera control menu up. And if you notice, you have your rotate keys, right and left. You have your up and down keys. And you can click these by, or touch these by using your mouse. Then you have your front view, your side view, and your back view. Now, one of my favorite tools to use in this camera control is the object view. This is the object view. This is the mouse view. Mouse view is great if you're on a roller coaster or some kind of a cool ride and you just want to see what's in front of you. It can be really fun for that. Object view is really great to focus on stuff around you. Like, let's say I want to get a really good shot of this menu. With my focus view, I can go ahead and do that. And then we can see. Now, the cool things about this advanced camera movement tutorial here at Social Island is that it tells me great stuff. Like hold, alt, and left mouse key helps me focus my camera on something, which is true. It does. It's basically the equivalent of pressing that lovely little mouse look key that I just showed you on the camera controls. Now let's say I get really frustrated and I'm stuck like I am here. I just click on the back and it puts me back where I started. That's why you want to really know how to use these camera controls because there are going to be moments when you're going to get frustrated, when you're going to get confused, when you're going to, the things that you see, you can't move around so much. Now keep in mind, all of this has to do with your specs on your computer too. Um, you could have really great specs on your computer which can help you move around easily and not have a lot of trouble. Or you can have... Um, some graphics drivers and stuff that are just not very strong and your computer isn't very strong, it's a couple years old, it's not used to gaming like this, and therefore you struggle and you have to keep lowering and lowering your graphics settings, but we'll bring that up in another tutorial. For now, this is just moving your point of view with your mouse just so that you can see things. Yeah. And as you guys all know, this is Greg. Greg is one of the primary avatars that people are given when they join Second Life. Once you have been Greg, you actually can change Greg, but I'm not going to go into that either, because now is not the time. Because um, we are three minutes in. All right, so now you guys kind of understand what this is. Um, I really like using Object View. Object View is my favorite tool for getting to see things, getting a good view of what's around you. And you don't, it's, it doesn't have to be so dramatic. It can be really simple, you're just moving around in a circle, all around, just to get comfortable with what that looks like. See, and there we are again. See? back where we started. So <clears throat> simple, it's playing with your mouse, playing with your keyboard, just to get comfortable with all these different options. And keep in mind, like I said, every time you get frustrated and you need to reset, just go click back. Um, that's all I've got for you guys, and it's perfect because it's under five minutes. I hope this is useful to you. Um, if you have any questions, I, of course, I'm going to put all of this information in my show notes, so you can take peek. Thanks for joining us at Adventures Tech Life and look forward to catching you on the flip.